Hi, hi guys, uh, welcome back. I hope you can hear me. Um, it's a very short video tonight. I've got a quick, quick little bit to show you. Um, I'm making another one of these exhaust can repair sections, heat exchanger repair sections. You've seen me do it before, but uh, I had to do quite a bit of it off camera because I'm uh, just too busy to film. So just to very briefly, how we, how we made this flangey part here. Um, I cut out with the plasma cutter a little a circle using some guides fairly accurately a little bit of filing and then just tap the centre here into a, a little former that I turned on the lathe um, which makes it a tight fit over the tube and for the sort of external flange um, just Speed tacking some bits, where are we? Speed tacking some bits on like that and leaving myself just a smidgen of metal, maybe a 30 second of metal here at the edge where my fingernail is there, my disgusting fingernail, to uh, make a fusion weld all the way around. Um, so that's what happens there. It's, it's really quite easy. It takes a few minutes to do. Now what I'll, I'll quickly show you tonight is uh, some speed tacking. What you'll do is, uh, if you'd normally weld just over an amp per thou for stainless, we want to double that. So 30 thou stainless, I'm saying it showed over 60 amps. And I'm setting the, I'm not using the remote control, I'm using the foot pedal to initiate the arc, but I'm switching the current control to panel, so it comes bang, up to 60 and off, um, for a tenth of a second. Uh, if the parts are actually touching, with nothing between them, that will form a little fusion tack, which on 300 series stainless, um, which is not sensitive to, to rapid cooling, it doesn't harden, it's not heat treatable, will form a very strong tack. Right, I'm going to see if I can get you a good shot of this. Uh, when it's actually touching, it's the way to speed tack. I'm coming in there with my tungsten, right, rocking it right into the, right into the joint. I've got a gap there. I can feel it with the tungsten, so that's not going to work. Let's come down to here. I can still feel a gap. You can't, uh, you can't work with a gap even if it's only a thou. So we'll get some more grips on that and come back in a second. All right, I've got some pliers there. And then I'm going to come in. That's coming from the bottom with the torch there. Get the tungsten right on the work. Rock it back a thou or two, and blam! And we got complete fusion there with just the tiniest burst. Okay, what I'm going to try and do now, I'm going to get the light in here to show you, is try and come in really nice and close and just melt that little edge down, um, keeping a really tight arc, no more than the thickness of this, this 30 thou material here. Um, and that should form a little fusion weld because I say I've just left myself a, a 30 second there to melt down onto this. Um, I'm not going for full penetration, I'm, I'm not shielding the back of this, I need to make this fairly quickly and just get it done. So that's what we're doing, we'll see how that goes. I'm just trying to find a way to get comfortable there, you notice yeah, I can work my way around there I think without my hands getting too hot. Using my left hand so you can see but yeah, it still might work, you never know, Let's let's see.
Okay, and what we end up with, I don't know how well you can see that, there's a little fusion weld that can be just dressed down with a file and sanded. Um, and that will make a nice smooth surface for the sort of external shroud to sit on. Uh, I hope you can see that. It's not as neat as I would have liked, but it's fine. It'll do the job. I'll go all the way around. Uh, I haven't I haven't dressed this one yet. The weld, the weld still looks a little bit crude on that, and it's just tacked with four little welds onto the uh, heat exchanger part. Um, the rest you've seen me do. Hope you enjoy watching. Check out weldingtipsandtricks.com for some uh, better tips on speed tacking probably than I've got. But if you're working with uh, 300 series stainless, thin stuff, get a good fit up. That's, that's a good way to tack things, especially if you're working on your own.